Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, on behalf of uh, WWF Philippines, uh, we'd like to thank Finn and uh, Dr. Bimbao, especially, for inviting us uh, to talk about this activity that we did, uh, I think, almost, almost two years ago now. Here you go. Right. So, uh, I feel like I'm uh, preaching to the crowd here, but we know that fish base can actually help address uh, a major challenge here uh, in the Philippines, and I'm sure in other countries as well, uh, to help access uh, both complete and affordable information uh, on the taxonomy, distribution, and biology of fishes, as fish base is, of course, uh, available on the web and, and is free. Uh, and with this activity, we were uh, positing that offering uh, virtual training using, uh, using a web-based app uh, can actually make FishBase uh, more accessible to new users and also improve uh, the user experience of, of, uh, of those who actually currently use FishBase. Uh, and by efficiently here, uh, what we mean is really to be able to help uh, address costs that, that come with uh, you know, travel and, and time for actually training people on, on how, to, how to use it and to introduce uh, the database to new users. Uh, and by web-based communication apps, uh, what we're referring to here would be any of these that, that might be familiar to you, uh, Skype, WebEx, and uh, more recently, Google Hangouts. Uh, so this is actually an activity that we conducted uh, under the, the CTSP, the Coral Triangle Support Partnership, which was supported by USAID. Uh, we collaborated with Finn in December 2013 to actually pilot uh, a, a virtual training, so using uh, one of these uh, web apps to conduct training to actually help uh, participants uh, access uh, fish base, uh, which will contribute to, to their current and future work. And for this, uh, we actually worked with uh, sorry, uh, five of the mentee uh, SUCs uh, from the CTSP University Mentoring Program. So uh, these were actually universities from the provinces of Mindoro, Palawan, Pangasinan, Batangas, and uh, Tawi-Tawi. Uh, we actually had 46 participants uh, in this activity uh, who were all well based in their own campuses. <laughs> Uh, sitting in the same room, just in a in a IT lab or one of their one of their classrooms, uh, just sitting all together there. So in these five locations, um, and we actually uh, were uh, we, we were very fortunate to have uh, Dr. Palomares also help prepare an interactive lecture uh, covering the following topics. So just a, an introduction to, to fish base and sea life base. Uh, the different uses of, of the databases, the search methods, uh, the, the, diff uh, the content that, that could be found inside the databases, and of course the research tools. Uh, so just to go quickly through the preparatory work, so we actually chose to use uh, this, uh, this particular app called Google Hangouts On Air so, uh, for, for this virtual training. So of course it's free. Uh, it, it actually accommodates group video conferencing, so I, I believe this is uh, actually good up to uh, 10 users. So in this case, we actually had ourselves and uh, the five universities as users. Uh, it does allow screen sharing, so uh, you're able to project what is on your own screen, uh, and it automatically records and uploads the session to, to YouTube, so you can actually refer back to it later on. Uh, also, as part of the prep work, we actually uh, wrote down a, a short uh, list of instructions, uh, which we provided to our partner uh, state universities and colleges. Uh, we had uh, two test sessions to actually check their internet connections to see if uh, there would be any, any challenges. Uh, to check their computer hardware, so this would be actually just the, the simple projector and uh, speaker and microphone setups. Uh, and to see if, if they were uh, able to use the, the app properly. Uh, and of course, we, we also had uh, this, we also had all of the SUC set up uh, 30 minutes before uh, the actual training. So uh, we actually conducted the, the training on December uh, 13th, I believe 2013, uh, where Dr. Palomares, with the help of Dr. Bimbao, uh, presented a, a lecture on how to use FishBase uh, 
using presentation slides and uh, a live demonstration of, of how to use the database. Uh, so from our experience, uh, the connection with uh, most of the SUCs went fine. There was just one that uh, could only receive uh, the audio and video uh, through Google Hangouts on air, but they couldn't, uh, they couldn't uh, participate uh, themselves in, in the actual discussion, but they were able to receive uh, the, the feed from our end. So this is basically what it uh, looked like for <laughs> uh, for all of the participants. So you can actually, uh, you actually had the, the presenter uh, on a video cam on screen and you had all the participants uh, there below. So you could see all of their video feeds as well. So uh, this was of course the, the lecture part where if, if Dr. Padamash was for example, just introducing a new section, uh, she was able to share the screen. So this is this was part of her PowerPoint, basically, that she was able to uh, present uh, to all the viewers. Uh, and this is the live demonstration. So uh, again, just using the screen sharing capability just to demonstrate what exactly that she was doing, what she was talking about. Uh, we also had uh, hands-on exercises for participants. So in this case, uh, to use the, the topic search functionality. So we would take a few minutes to have all of the participants uh, try to do it themselves on, on separate laptops, uh, again, in their own classrooms. Uh, and of course, we, we did a Q&A after every section. And in this case, you could see that the screen would shift to, to the, the actual user uh, who was asking the question. So, there. so uh, in terms of recommendations, uh, in, in the case of this particular training, uh, we were able to actually complete the entire lecture, uh, although we did have to skip a few of the exercises, so it would be better for this particular one to maybe a lot uh, four hours uh, as uh, for the for the actual training session. Uh, we actually also had uh, two technical assistants to help provide uh, tech support basically and moderate the session so timekeeping uh, helping to moderate for example the just the muting of microphones uh, and so on and so forth on Google Hangouts. Uh, we also sent uh, the participants after the session, uh, the recording of the session again, which is available on YouTube, and it's, it's still actually available on YouTube, as well as the actual presentation and contact information uh, for them to be able to, to go over this again and uh, disseminate it to other, use, uh, to other students who weren't able to join uh, this training. And I guess uh, finally what we would recommend actually from this experience is uh, this is a uh, this is actually a, a pretty easy way to, to be able to help reach new years, users maybe and with other universities that main that have students who are just coming in at the undergraduate level might not be too familiar yet with the databases. Uh, this is something that could be set up uh, the future future sessions I mean for for Finn and uh, not only the interactive lectures but uh, also how to video tutorials which could be recorded. Uh, beforehand and professionally edited and then uh, uploaded to Fishbase as well just to be able to uh, help people, uh, help new users especially, uh, get to know the database better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ko, for this account of the web-based virtual training for Fishbase users. The floor is now open for your questions. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sir. Um, is there a specific day that one who would be interested to undergo the tra uh, said training yeah, specified? And uh, is there also a specific number of those who want to study? Could it be in group, individual? And how often do you conduct those? Well? And how often do you conduct those? Like, as I wasn't here most of 2014, <laughs> 2015. 
thinking um, that idea was not followed up, but I suppose Finn can follow it up, maybe with the TOSC. Uh, it would be an idea that we could follow up later and uh, using the, the pilots, the, the model that Patrick had presented. Okay, I have one question for you. This is a good uh, technology, and uh, in Palawan, we have established already the Palawan Knowledge Platform and we have about 20 member in NGOs and agencies and research institutions. Can we hold this in Palawan? Uh, so actually, we would actually just use this using all, all free uh, software on online. So we put hands on it, it's free and you just have to. So the how-to's there would be able to be a self-study, can we do that? In the how-to. Oh, the, the how-to video yeah. for us. But this, this would be one of the one of the suggestions from, from our end is that we could actually uh, produce you know, big short video tutorials, for example, just, the, uh, just the demonstrations of, of how to use the database effectively, and you know these could be possibly just uploaded to the, to the website, just to uh, help people who find it easier to to, uh, to understand uh, new information. Other questions? Yes. Just one question, you had 46 students, correct? Uh, yes, yeah, 46, correct. But they were in only one room, or were they disseminated in, in the various oh, places? Uh, the one with five campuses. Ah, five five campuses. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Sigurd. I missed the... Other questions? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.